Here's your good news for Tuesday. You still have time to get today's Del Marva Life Daily Deal. 50% off professional lawn mowing services from Lush Green Lawn, serving Kent and Sussex counties. Don't forget, you can get the Daily Deal on DelmarvaLife.com or download the free Del Marva Life Daily Deal app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. It's so easy to get our great deals right in the palm of your hand. Well, it's another day, and we are trying to figure out where Brian is on Del Marva. <laughs> okay, here's the clues he's given us so far. Uh, first, the town was originally called Blackfoot Town. And second, Cypress shingles were once shipped from the town. So where is he? Well, it's time to find out. And, Can we ask uh, these guys? Okay, what do where, you guys think? Where do you think he is? Where? Dagsboro. Dagsboro, watch your preed. Watch your preed. Okay, you had said it before and then retracted. I'm going to go with Pocomo. You're going with Pocomo, and I'm going with Milford. Okay. Okay, those are your two answers. Well, Good guesses, by the way. So, um, Jimmy and Lisa, you both are wrong. Oh. However, there is an audience member who is right. Get Someone was paying close attention. If you take a look at my map, this afternoon we are actually in Sussex County in the town of Dagsboro. So, congratulations to that audience member. Props to you. So, listen, you know, in keeping with tradition, here is some history about the town. Dagsboro is located at the head of Pepper Creek. The town was founded as Blackfoot Town in 1747, which was one of my clues. But like anything, the course of history changes things. So, how did the town eventually get its current name? Well, in 1785, it was named after General John Dagworthy. Now, it's interesting to note, a feud with George Washington during the French and Indian War kept Dagworthy from getting a combat command during the Revolution when he commanded the Sussex County Militia. Now, Dagworthy is buried here in Dagsboro on the grounds of the Prince George's Chapel. Now that chapel has been here since 1757 and has quite the story behind it. It was received by the Worcester Parish of the Church of England because at one point Dagsboro was actually part of Maryland. The chapel was named after Prince George, who later became King George III of England and ruled over the American colonies. Now, over time, the chapel's condition deteriorated until a complete restoration in 1928. The state of Delaware bought the property in 1967, which is on the National Register of Historic Places. Now, something else to add, which was my second clue, cypress shingles were once shipped from Dagsboro. The town is about 1.3 square miles in size and is home to roughly 800 people. It's right off of Route 113 and is not too far from Bethany Beach along the Delaware shore. And with the Clayton Theater right along Main Street in town, Dagsboro is one of those places where you can grab a meal and see a movie without having to go too far. So there you go, all the history and the story behind Dagsboro. And I should mention that this afternoon we're actually standing in Katie Helm Park here in the town. So congratulations to our audience member. He got Dagsboro. Once again, Jimmy and Lisa, you both disappoint me. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. And I got to point out, it was Billy Mercier with Kumite USA. We talked to yeah, him earlier. He came yeah. over to Dagsboro. I well, can't believe Thumbs up Props to him. To him. Props I'm going to start him. calling you from now on. When <laughs> this. Thank you, Brian. Well, thanks for watching Del Marva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. Not only are mosquitoes a nuisance, they can be a health risk. Unfortunately, summer is synonymous with the pesky insects. We have some tips on how to prevent mosquitoes from invading your yard. Well, if there's mosquitoes, that must mean it's vacation yeah. season. Something else that is sure to ruin a vacation is to have your home burglarized or damaged while you're gone. State Farm joins us with some advice on how to keep your home safe during vacation. One person who's probably not taking a vacation this summer is CBS's Julie Chen. Not only does she have her daily talk show, The Talk, but she's also doing double duty with Big Brother. We get a behind the scenes look at both shows. And don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, all you have to do is visit DelmarvaLife.com. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. Now let's hear it one more time for Miss Delaware 2013, Rebecca Jackson.